Hello friends, uh, this is a video uh, about writing equation of a real line, real, real life number pattern. So now this question I have taken from uh, NZQA level 1 2007 algebra and the standard number is 90147. And the title of the standard was use straightforward algebraic method and solve equation. Now this is a this is a real life uh, problem, and you have to write the equation of uh, this real life situation. So you can see maths can be so exciting. Uh, so you can use it in real life. Now, what is the question? Let us read the question together. Allison is using hexagonal hexagonal tiles to make patterns. So this is the first pattern which has five tiles. This is the second pattern which has 11 tiles. The third pattern has got 19 tiles. Allison has 461 hexagonal tiles. She wants to use all the tiles to make a pattern like those in the diagram above. Write an equation to show the relationship uh, between the pattern number n and the number of tiles t. So you can understand if you continue in this pattern, this is the first pattern, second pattern, third pattern, it goes on, on, on and on. And the question is, she has 461 tiles. So which pattern number would have this 461 tiles? That's what we want to find. So if you're free and if you don't have much time, you can build on the pattern and can get the answer. But uh, we don't have time and uh, in this question, this is an excellent question in 2007, you have to write the formula between T and N. Now, so what I've done is I've made a column of, this is N, which is the pattern number, T stands for the number of tiles. Now, there's a way in finding in a way in which you find whether the pattern is linear or quadratic. Now this pattern is quadratic. Why? The reason being the second difference is 2. Now what do I mean by that? Now if you take the difference between 5 and 11 or 11 take away 5 gives you 6. If you do the take the difference of 19 take away 11 that gives you 8. Now this is the first difference and if you take the difference of the first difference that is the difference of difference difference means take away so you go 8 take away 6 is 2. So if it's a linear pattern the first difference would be constant and if the second difference is constant this is, I'll show you in a, uh, the next page how this is a quadratic pattern, okay? So if you know the second difference is constant, you can build the pattern. So the second difference is constant, so keep the constant. So if it is, you can see 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19. So 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 12, plus 2 is 14. So let us uh, keep on building the pattern. So this is, as, as we saw, 11 plus 8 is 19. So 19 plus 10 would be 29. 29 plus 12, uh, 29 plus 10 is 39 plus 2 is 41. And if you want to go to the next pattern, the sixth pattern would have 55 tiles, which is 41 plus 14, which is 55. Now let me show you why do I think that this is a quadratic pattern. Let us go to the next page. Now I have made up a pattern, simple quadratic, the most basic quadratic pattern, which is y is equal to x squared. So if this is x, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can understand x squared would be 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and so on. So let us see what is the first, this is the first difference and this is the second difference. So 1 minus 0 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 5, sorry, 9 minus 4 is 5, 16 
minus 9 is 7, 25 minus 16 is 9, and 36 take away 25 is 11. Now I've take, taken the, done the second difference, so 3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2. So if the second difference is 2, I can say this, what, this is y is equal to 1x squared. We don't generally write the 1, but what we do is the coefficient of x squared is half of the second difference. So let me give me one more example. What do I mean by this? Now this is the second of 2x squared. So you can see the first difference. You can see for yourself I'm not going over it. So let us go over some examples. So it's uh, 2 plus 6 is 8, 10 plus, sorry, 8 plus 10 is 18 and so on. If you look at the second difference, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. So can you see when the second difference is 4, the equation is y is equal to 2x squared. Okay, so let me go back. So if the second difference is 2, the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay. And if the second difference is 4, the coefficient of x squared is 2. So in the next example, I want you to tell me if the second difference is 6, which you can see very clearly, 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 plus 9 is 12, 12 plus 15 is 27, 3 plus 6 is 9, and so on. So I hope you understand if the second difference is 3, this should be y is equal to, that's right, 3 x squared. Okay, let me show this on a calculator. So let me open up a calculator. So you go menu and go to table. Okay, and type in 3x squared. And always go to set. I want to go from 0 to 7. Okay, step of 1. There we go. Can you see? Uh, this is 0. I'll show you 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is visible here. So 3 is 27. Can you see? 3 is 27. So if you scroll down, 4 is 48, 5 is 75, 6 is 108. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So let us go back. So this is a, if this is our pattern, let us find the formula. So um, open the new page. This is my n, which is the tile number, sorry, the tile, the pattern of the pattern number, and this is the tile. So I know the second difference is, what's our second difference? The second difference is 2, so this has an n squared, okay? So this has an n squared, so I made a column of n squared. So n squared, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. Then what I've done is I've taken away this from this. So 5 minus 1 is 4, 11 minus 4 is 7, 19 minus 9 is 10 and so on. So let us look at the second difference. So what's the second difference here? Sorry, the first difference here. So the first difference, if you look at the difference, the difference is common. This is 3, this is 3, this is 3, this is 3. So this is a linear pattern. So this, t minus n squared, which I've got from this take over this, this should be, I'm making a guess, should be 3n plus 1. Now how did I get that 1? So I went, if I, how did I get, how can I relate, miss, my, what I'm doing is I'm thinking, can I relate this 4 with this n? And I know the first difference, which is common, which is 3. So this, this number 4 has to be 3 times this. So if I go 3 times 1, it gives me 3, but I want to get 4, so to add 1. So does it work here? So 3 times my n is 2 here, so 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Does it work here? So my n is 3 now, so 3 times 3 plus 1 is 10. It works. Let me check here. My n is 6 here, so 3 times 6, which is 
18 plus 119. So now if you look at this, if you can you understand 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. 9 plus 10 is 19. 16 plus 13 is 29. 25 plus 16 is 41. Hopefully, this will get a bit difficult. 36 plus, you can check it on a calculator, is 45. So I can see now, this is made up of this plus this. So I can write T should be N squared plus 3N plus 1. Okay, so let me check this whether it works. Uh, let me bring up the calculator. Okay, so I'll go to table, which is, okay, I'll type in my equation, which is, I can't write n squared, I'll write x squared plus 3x plus 1. I'll start from, say, 1 to 5, that's what I want, yeah, and table. So here we go, 1 is 5, 2 is uh Okay, let me show you. Okay, yeah, uh, you can see very clearly 1 is 5, 1 is 5, 2 is 11, 3 is 19, 4 is 29. So my formula is right. In the next video, I will show you how you can do this uh, on the stats mode without, uh, without doing all this. Okay, so it's a bit uh, cunning, but uh, you can do this without doing the whole process. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.